All and out around the world, are you ready for a brand new beat? Summer's here and the time is right for dancing in the street. They're dancing in Chicago <laughs> and down in New Orleans and New York City. All we need is music, sweet music. There'll be music everywhere. And there'll be records playing and bodies swaying. We're dancing in the street. Oh, it doesn't matter what you wear. I better stop. I get carried away. And good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. I have to stop because I done already lost 200 some subscribers overnight. YouTube ain't playing with nobody. And um, I had to take a day to reflect because, you know, it's hard enough to get subscribers, right? And, um, you know, because they come and go, come and go. But when they playing games, I already got cut off my live stream in mid-conversation. And I said, Lord and Lord and Lord. Then I lost all these subs overnight. And I was really kind of discouraged. Because I asked y'all to share the video. I asked y'all to like it. I'm trying to uh, get up to at least 2,000 um, videos. So once we do that, you know, we can start having some um, uh, contests or something going on. That's what I'm begging for the family. I'm literally begging. Because as fast as I get subscribers, YouTube take them away. And I can't have that. I really can't. So I'm begging y'all to do the little things that it takes for me to continue to do this. Because these algorithms ain't playing. And that is to like, share, and... um you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll try my best to bring you better content, a little bit more mature content, because I can't stay in certain places too long, okay? And I hope that y'all follow me, and I hope that a lot of us, I, I want to do more live streams, and I'm going to be testing a little bit later on the channel, so y'all might see it coming up. Because I want to make uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays my days for live stream. I mean, if we end up doing it more than twice a week, cool. But um, those are the days that I, I have in mind to do this. So, you know, with that being said, that's the usual housekeeping. Y'all know what to do to hit me up on all the um, uh, um you know, addresses below. The links are in the description box, I believe. Yeah. The links are in the description box. And um, I ask that you at least uh, let the ads play because all those things help the algorithm and all those things help the channel. So, okay, I'm done with that. Listen, y'all, I'm a little distressed now about this trans um situation. I think it's getting to be a little bit crazy when you can have um, some of these articles that I'm reading are so disgusting. Like the 25 year old trans um, lady that beat the brakes off somebody because they called her a man in a dress. Okay, so now they want to take their superpowers and use them on cisgender women and that is that is a problem. So it says trans cheerleader twenty five. She got a, an assault because she choked out a teammate seventeen. I mean, choked her all the way the freaking frack out. Okay, um, Avery 
Chanel Medlock was booted from the Ranger College cheerleading camp and given a criminal assault charge by physical contact last week. Medlock allegedly choked out her teammate named Carly, who she said was making transphobic remarks that she shouldn't be allowed to make on the team. A lot of people feel like you shouldn't have your ass on a damn team. I mean, let's just keep it real. You, you, some people think your ass shouldn't be on it. You got the nerve to try to choke somebody out about some shit. Okay. Now, see, this is a problem. And it's going to get even worse. It's going to get even worse. Mark my god darn words. This right here is too damn crazy. And so now uh, some more of y'all might leave because y'all a lot of y'all are very sensitive to this uh, transgender conversation. Look, none of us are perfect. All of us have got shit going on, right? But the bottom line is some stuff just got to be called to the front and say, look, this some shit gone too far. There are people I respect who know who they are, know what it is, and, you know, there are people who are in search of who they are. I'm with all that. I get it. I was once in your shoes. So I understand that. What I don't understand is when you think you can come over and get a cisgender woman and choke the fuck out of her, excuse my language, because she said something to you that you don't like. This is a problem. It was a problem on the swimming team. It's a damn problem with the one that rode the damn uh, skateboard and beat the 13-year-old and, and was looking at other people like, what's wrong with y'all? This shit remind me, how many of y'all remember Living Color? <laughs> remember she Oh, 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 come on. I don't care if you gay or straight. You already knew. You already knew. That was some crazy, crazy, funny, funny crap. But this right here, this this is crazy. But it, it ain't funny at all. It really is not. It's not funny. So now, she got a citation. And Medlock claimed she had only been joking with Carly that she was targeted because of her race and gender. Ain't that some craziness? Uh, a transgender cheerleader was kicked, so she kicked off the college cheerleader camp. That's it. Um, police were called to the scene along with Carly's father, Mike Jones, and Medlock was removed from the camp. Okay. Uh, I don't know. What y'all think about this? Have we gone too far? Uh, have we gone too damn far? I want to know. I want to know. Leave your comments below, people, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thanks for listening. Like, subscribe, share the channel. Come on. People, let's get these likes up. Let's get these likes up. Please make a comment. Let's go. I know y'all ain't out there just sitting there. Make a comment, good or bad. I want to hear it.